aerial back. So when in your when you're in midair and you press square back or just double tap back, you'll back step once, kind of like Judith in Tales of Vesperia. Now aerial dash allows you to go forward or to the right by double tapping right or pressing X, square and right. You're only able to do it once. Okay, where is this one? Okay, spell charge. Okay, hold down the arts button while when a spell is nearly finished to casting to enable movement without releasing the spell. So, while you're what? I completely skipped something. Oh, I'm crazy. Aerial spell? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is not. I'm going crazy. I must be. Oh, it's aerial voltage. I'm sorry. Recovers AC by one after every seven hits in an aerial combo. So if you're in the air and you manage to hit seven hits in a row, your AC goes up by one. Touchdown. Press down on the left control stick to land immediately when in midair. So this allows you to fall from the sky elegantly uh, instead of floating back down. Landing. Uh, reduces recovery time after landing by 50%. So you hit the ground and you're able to, well, hit the ground running? That sounds like a bad joke. Temptation. So when you taunt, there's a 20% chance that the enemy will become stunned. Or is it charmed? Oh, it's charmed. Uh, so you sit there taunting, and then enemies will start attacking each other. Because they love you. And they're fighting over you. I'm pretty sure there's some weird thing to go along with that, but I forget. Jump cancels. Enables attacks to be cancelled by jumping. So if you have awesome timing, which I don't, you're able to jump, and when you jump, it'll cancel out the ending of an action. Very useful during special, um, very technical combos, but other than that, not very useful, at least to me. Splendor Armor nullifies a received attack for 5 seconds after evading a grounded melee attack with a backstep action. So after you backstep, you will basically be um, immune for 5 seconds. Uh, very, very useful. I haven't managed to actually time it correctly enough that I actually got the nullification. Maybe I have really, really bad timing. But who knows. Now, HP... Um, inc uh, after battle, your HP go will be replenished by 10% and by 2%. Actually, I'm pretty sure... Nope, we're on to... That's on to the next one, aren't we? Yep, uh, these are HP gain and TP gain. You get these by killing enemies. So if you kill an enemy, you regain 10% of your max HP. Uh, and 2% of your max TP, if you have this one equipped. Improves the effect of the HP gain skill. So this gets increased by an unnamed amount. And then recovers 1% of max HP for every 5 hits on a combo. So 5 hit combo, you get 1% HP back. And then same deal with this, only you get 1% of TP back. Oh, whoops. Limits Fever. Arts do not consume TP while Over Limits mode is active. So not only are you able to use arts, um, at least physical arts, physical attack arts, um, consecutively it won't cost you any TP, like Over Limit 3 and Tales of Asperia. Limiter, or Over Limit Boost, increases the duration of Over Limits mode by 2 seconds. Incre and this is limiter 2, and increases the duration of over limits mode by 1 second when connecting a link art. So if you're doing a link art, it'll increase the duration by 1 second. Not enough to um, provide unlimited over limits, but enough to at least extend it. And this is limited to once per link art, so it'll only increase it by 1, so you can't spam one link art and expect to get a ton of seconds by. Revival energy. Um, enables revival with full HP after being knocked out. So if you go down in battle, if you get revived using a life bottle or resurrection, you'll come back with full HP. 
this is the same deal, only with TP. So you get revived, you have full TP. As you get into the game a lot faster. Uh, combo TP support. So it decreases the TP consumption for arts based on the number of normal attacks an ally uses while linked. Um, so if you use normal attacks while linked to an ally, it reduces the TP consumption by 20% after every 4 hits or more, or reduces TP consumption by 40% after 8 hits or more. So more attacks you do while linked that are just normal attacks, uh, you'll be able, you'll reduce the TP consumption. So this is basically promoting using normal attacks over top of spamming art attacks. Assault Condition recovers 2% of max TP upon attacking an enemy under the effect of a status ailment with a normal attack. So if an enemy is affected with any kind of status ailment, I'm going to equip that right now, uh, they will they'll recover 2% of max TP. So if an enemy is afflicted with charm or stun, you just continuously hit them with a normal attack in order to recover your technical points. Okay, grow up heal. And this one is kind of not needed, not really necessary. It fully recovers your HP and TP upon leveling up. So level up, do 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 do, you get all your HP and technical points back. Um, this moves on to heal share plus. Increase shared HP when healing while linked by 25% to a maximum of 50%. So when you're healing, your HP between the two of you goes up by 25% up to 50%. Okay, this is High Guard. You get this from uh, a book named Ino no Sho Zetai Bogyo, or the unique skill book Absolute Defense. Now, this means that your guard cannot be broken. So you can sit there holding down uh, square and using your ridiculous skills, you will be completely impervious to guard break. Yeah, kind of overpowered. Mental Rebirth is the show. No, this is aerial arm. No, that isn't even that. Well, element armor. Elemental armor. Okay, I'm just going crazy. I have these written down and I'm reading the wrong one. Increases the resistance to an element by 30% for eight seconds after using an art with that elemental attribute. So if you use an art that is fire-based, any attack that you receive that is fire-based will be reduced by 30% for eight seconds afterwards. So increase, so use that with fire guard, it goes down by 60%. Pretty crazy stuff. Okay, this is energy code. So this reduces damage received by 30%. Another 30%. Consumes 3 TP when receiving damage. So if you get hit, it costs you TP, but increase, but decreases the amount of damage you take by 30%. So there's lots of capability in this game for you to take very, very, very little damage if you budget out your uh, SP correctly. Magic and Arts. Consumes no TP when following a spell immediately with its magic arts ability counterpart. Now this is the opposite of it. Um, this is a skill only available to Mila. This means that the magic in arts means that if you use a spell and you follow it off with its magic arts ability or its magi ability. So if I use fireball and I follow it with fire blast, it costs me no TP. So, um, Magi is the when you just tap the arts button, and it uses a arts form of a spell. And this is the reverse. If you use the, so you can use these back and forth to cost you very little um, TP. And this last one is one that I don't actually know. So I'm gonna re magi. Okay, you're gonna hear me like crazily try and figure out what this is. So that's magi. What is this amazing art? Because I don't have this written down. Yes, this is an art which I can't find anywhere. So that's ma, that's g, that's something that I should remember. That's ma jun ku fa fa fa. 
I don't know what this um, skill is. So if anyone can figure out what this skill is, because I, for some reason I can't read uh, Katakana right now, that would be awesome if you could tell me what this is. Um, this is quite a few skills. So I hope that that covers any basic skill-related questions you may have. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys come watch more of these soon. I will up be uploading a lot more. I did have a video before, which was a basic menu translation, but I could not upload it because YouTube um, decreased my limit on how much I could upload at a time to 15% from unlimited up to 12 hours. Um, so now I have to give them my phone number, and I don't really want to do that, so... I couldn't upload that, and then my editing software won't let me cut the video into four sections. So I apologize for the lack of video yesterday. I hope that this will clear up any questions for the guy who wanted me to help him out with the skills. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.